the remaining part of the second year portion that is aquaculture, poultry and miscellaneous topics. What are the miscellaneous topics? One is the introductory part of biotechnology, remaining part of biotechnology. After biotechnology, we have to discuss the cell cycle and its regulation, stem cells and next the last one is biomedical technology. Again repeating, from today onwards, we are going to discuss the miscellaneous parts of the second year syllabus. One among them is aquaculture. From the aquaculture, we are getting one question. From the poultry, we are getting one question. And the remaining part of biotechnology, that means introductory part of biotechnology, remaining part of biotechnology. After completing the biotechnology, the cancer biology, cell cycle and its regulation, the stem cells. All these are the miscellaneous topics. From these topics, we are getting one question. And the last biomedical technology, X-rays, CAT, scan, and next HIV test, and next ECG. From this topic, that is biomedical technology, we are getting one question. And all these topics are the generalized topics. These topics are not generally the much more, these are not the generally much more concept oriented. A general discussing part. Now the first one is aquaculture. A small introduction regarding the aquaculture. What is meant by aquaculture? The rearing of any type of aquatic organism. Generally, while we are discussing the aquaculture, we have to use the blue revolution. Now, what is the blue revolution? The method of capturing and culturing of aquatic organisms that we call it as blue revolution. In the aquaculture, one part is the fin fishery, the rearing of aquatic organisms having fins called fin fishery. And the next one we call it as shell fishery, the rearing of aquatic organisms having the shells that we call it as shell fishery. One example for the shell fishery that is lobsters crabs, prawns, mollusks animals. In the first what we discussed, fin fishery, the rearing of aquatic organisms having fins, that we call it as fin fishery, that means the rearing of variety of fishes. Now we have to discuss some very very important bits regarding aquaculture with reference to M set point of view. Now as we observe the first one, essential amino acids that are abandoned in fish meat from the olden days, the fish meat is considered as the brain food because every day if we are going to take a small part of fish body that means 100 grams of fish flesh is taken that fish meat activates our brain cells in the central nervous system the neurons are present we know very well every day if we are going to take 100 grams of fish meat such food material activates the neurons of our central nervous system. So the brain cells are working at sharp. So the fish meat is popularly known as the brain food because 
what are the essential amino acids that are abundant in the fish meat the best is the methionine and lysine they are the amino acids students here generally we are doing a mistake here what we are asking the amino acids we are having an idea regarding the genetic code the essential amino acids and non essential amino acids essential amino acids play an important role in our day to day activities each amino acid is generally recognized by one triplet codon so that while preparing this question what are the amino acids present in the fish meat methionine lysine better you have to refer the genetic code regarding the part of genetics in the genetic code part we are having the triplet codons for different different amino acids so regarding the methionine and lysine you have to check what is the triplet codon which are present in the genetic code and now the answer is the methionine and lysine now the next one is chuti koran coast of tamil nadu is famous for now as we observe the aquaculture one we call it as the fresh water aquaculture the marine water aquaculture the brackish water aquaculture and seaweed culture and pearl culture and you know very well pearl culture that means the preparation of pearls muchamulu now as we observe the pearl culture regarding the pearl culture in india particularly with reference to tamil nadu in the tamil nadu area near chuti karan coast there we have to observe more and more pearl culture industries in the world what is the first place goes to the pearl culture that is the india and the second place goes to the japan generally for the culture of pearls we have to use pinteda vulgaris and pinteda fucata these two are the marine organisms Uh, recently another organism is also used for the preparation of pearls that is lamellidens marginalis that is a fresh water form again repeating one we call it as pinteda vulgaris second one we call it as pinteda fucata these two are the marine organisms the third one we call it as lamellidens marginalis the culture of lamellidens marginalis has been conducting by central inland freshwater aquaculture which is at chennai these three organisms are used for the pearl culture generally as we observe the pearl culture if any foreign particle enters into the body of pinteda vulgaris or pinteda fucata or lamellidens marginalis generally the foreign particle does not enter into the body because in these animals body asparidium is present the asparidium test the purity of water so the asparidium does not allow any foreign particle enters into the body but here it is a culture in the culture what is going on as we observe the pinteda vulgaris pinteda fucata lamellidens marginalis their body is covered and protected by two shells 
these two shells are attached by a hinge joint these two shells are not opened but in the culture process the workers open the two shells with the help of forcep they enter juice one sand particle or any particle now the two shells are closed after few days what is going to happen in these animals body the mantle is present we know very well it is a layer the mantle secretes a substance around the foreign particle because of this secretion the foreign particle becomes peril so that that is the process going on conducted in the peril culture industries now chuti karan coast of tamil nadu is famous for you have to observe the answer that is the peril culture now we go for the next question list 1 now for the mz point of view as we observe the previous papers regarding the aqua culture in the previous mz examinations we are getting questions from the fish gear and craft what is meant by craft different vessels boards are used to transport to the aquatic organisms as well as to capture the aquatic organisms one is the kakinada nava masula boat dugout cano doni all these are the examples of craft you prepare this paragraph more and more times because from the craft and gear we are getting the questions what is meant by gear different different nets in telugu they are called walalu different different nets are used to capture the aquatic organisms some nets are used by one fisherman some nets are used by two fishermen some nets are used by more than one person and some nets are operated by mechanized boats now you observe the list one long line net boat scene gill net cast net and stake net generally long line such net excellently operated by usa fishermen in the remaining countries the fishermen are unable to operate the long line net but the usa fishermen can operate excellently the long line net is used to capture the tuna fish if we go for the usa in the united states of america as we visit any restaurant there we are getting the tuna fishes in the tuna fishes meat the omega 3 fatty acids are present the omega 3 fatty acids they dissolve the cholesterol they are very popular at usa places nowadays the tuna culture has been popularizing in remaining parts of the countries and long line net is used to capture the tuna fishes the second one is boat scene it is used to capture inshore fishes what is meant by inshore the method of capturing fishes very close to coast or very close to kinare you know the meaning of the coast it is also called the kinare near the coast if we are capturing the fishes we have to use the boat scene what about the gill net 
it is a wall like net it is operated by two persons the gill net it is used to capture the oil sardine that is a fish its scientific name is sardinella longicep it is popular in the gujarat state coastal area the by products obtained from the oil sardine or the sardinella longicep are used in the preparation of so many food materials in the same way they are used in the preparation of different different soaps paints etc it is a repeated question in the main answer examination the gill net is especially used to capture the sardines what about the cast nest it is used to capture the fishes in the fresh water the fresh water bodies also called inland water bodies in order to capture the fishes in the fresh water bodies we have to use the cast net generally it is operated by one fisherman and the last one is the stake net it is used to capture the fishes in the brackish water in telugu it is called uppu neeti kayya or the water present at river mouth in telugu it is called nadi mukha dwaram the place where the river enters into the sea that we call it as the river mouth in the river mouth two kinds of waters are present one is marine water and one is fresh water that means at river mouth these two waters are mixed that is called the brackish water or eucerine water there in order to capture the aquatic organisms we have to use the stake net now the answer is you observe now we go for the next question culture of murales is discontinued as we observe the murales the chana species nowadays their culture is being stopped because the place where these murales are cultured in those places the water is poisoned in those places the remaining aquatic organisms are going to die that means the place where murales are cultured in those places if other aquatic organisms are present because of the murales the water is polluted in that polluted water the remaining aquatic organisms are going to die so nowadays the culture of murales a type of fishes is stopped because they have been suffering from ulcer in the elementary canal that is technically called epigeotic ulcerative syndrome what is meant by syndrome a group of symptoms epigeotic ulcerative in these fishes in the elementary canal the formation of ulcers now you observe the assertion culture of murales is discontinued because av losses are incurred by epigeotic ulcerative syndrome in these fishes now the answer is both are correct or explain c a now the next question read the following and choose the correct one now as we observe the development of fishes in the development of the fishes the sperm and ovum will undergo fertilization we are getting the egg in the presence of sunlight the eggs are hatched out into larvae depending upon the size they are named as fry fingerling etc in the development of fishes we have to use different different ponds one is the nursery pond the rearing pond the stocking pond the stocking pond is classified into pre stocking pond and post stocking pond now you observe what is the first column second column and the third column fry 
what is the size of this larva 2.5 centimeters where it is it is growing in the rearing pond what about the fingerling okay the size of fingerling is 4.5 centimeters but where it is nursery pond no the first pond is nursery pond in the nursery pond the larvae are very very minute for how many days they are in the nursery pond just hardly for 15 days the nursery pond is followed by rearing pond the fry and the fingerling both are present in the rearing pond but here the fingerling present in the nursery pond that is the wrong third one ulva that is one type of seaweed that is named as the green algae how it is developed by a process called seaweed culture we know very well the red algae the brown algae the ulva and spirulina now the ulva it is a type of seaweed popularly known as the green algae how it is developed by a process called seaweed culture it is a seaweed in telugu it is called kalupu mokka and the fourth one sargasm the second column is red alga and seaweed culture but the sargasm it is not the red algae it is the brown algae so based on this information you check the answer fry the size is 2.5 cm it is growing in the rearing pond and ulva it is a type of seaweed popularly known as green algae and how it is developed by a process called seaweed culture now the next question following are the various steps in the fish culture arrange them in a sequence now we are going to culture the aquatic organisms how we have to culture the fishes first of all we have to select the brood fishes the male fish and the female fish generally what is the breeding season that is the rainy season but we are having the marketing in all seasons other than rainy season if we are having the marketing how to get the product from these fishes first of all we have to select the male and the female fishes the fishes that are selected by the culture are called brood fishes now we go for the hypophagization technique as we observe the fish markets particularly in the visakhapatnam area as we observe the fish market there we have to observe some fishes without heads that means the workers remove the head of the fishes the head is removed now they break the skull that means in the skull one part is cranium the cranium is removed as we observe the brain on the ventral side of diencephalon what is the present pituitary gland now the workers take pituitary gland in a plate they add few drops of alcohol in the presence of alcohol the pituitary gland is crushed now the entire solution is taken in a test tube now the test tube is kept in a centrifugation machine now the machine is on centrifugation is going on after completing the centrifugation we are getting the extract such extract consisting the gonadotropic hormones now we inject the gonadotropic hormones into the body of male fish and female fish in the presence of hormones in their body the testes and ovaries they germinate or they are activated they release more and more sperms more and more ova now they undergo fertilization we are getting the zygote in the presence of sunlight they are hatched out into larvae now the larvae first of all kept in the nursery pond then they are shifted to rearing pond then they are shifted to stocking pond until they are marketable that is the process what we are going to do in the culture of the fishes now 
Following are the various steps in the fish culture. Arrange them in a sequence. First, you observe the statements. Stocking pond, rearing pond, collection of brood fish, hypophagation and nursery ponds. Now, the first one is collection of brood fish. Then, we go for the hypophagation technique. Then, the larvae first kept in nursery pond. Then, they are shifted to rearing pond. Finally, they are shifted to the stocking pond. Now, what is the answer? The answer is the third option. Now, the next question. Regarding the diseases of the poultry, it is very, very, very important regarding the main MSET examination. As we observe the previous MSET examination papers, particularly regarding the poultry from the diseases part, we are getting the questions. The diseases are caused by protozoan parasites, element parasites and the diseases caused by bacteria, the diseases caused by viruses, the diseases caused by the fungus. What are the bacterial diseases, viral diseases and fungal diseases? Just you have to listen, Ranicate or New Cajil's disease. The second one we call it as Marex disease. The third one we call it as Gamboro disease. And the next one is Foul Cholera. And the next one is the Coryza or Rau. And the next one is Chronic Respiratory Disease, Aspergillosis, Aphlodoxicosis and Thrush or Moneliosis. Again I am repeating, Ranicate or New Cajil's disease, Marex disease, Gamboro disease. Gamboro disease is repeated repeated main M set. And the next three diseases, the foul cholera, Coryza rub disease, chronic respiratory disease. Foul cholera repeated repeated in the main M set examination. The last three are the fungal diseases. One is aspergillosis and the second one is aphlodoxicosis. The third one is thrush or moneliosis. Because of these diseases, we are going to get heavy losses. Now, you have to observe name of the disease caused by the organism and what are the symptoms. Now, you observe Ranicate, it is caused by Paromyxa virus. What are the symptoms? Respiratory and nervous disorders. Because of this disease, more and more young ones are going to die. We are going to get heavy losses the mortality, the death rate is more. Now, the first one is correct because Ranicate or New Cajil's disease caused by Paromyxa and the death rate is more. What are the symptoms? Respiratory troubles, nervous troubles. Second, Aphlodoxicosis. It is caused by Aspergillus flavus but not fumigatus. So, the second one is wrong. Third, Foul cholera, it is a bacterial disease caused by Passerella avicida. What are the symptoms? As we observe the cock or hen above the head, what is present? That means a cap like structure, that means comb, and below the neck, what is present? The wattles are present. And now, the third one is foul cholera. It is caused by a bacterium called Passerella avicida. What are these symptoms? The discoloration of comb. What is meant by comb? It is present above the head. Discoloration of combs. So, the third one is correct. What about the thrush? Thrush is caused by IEDM albicans, but not IBD. So, here, what are the correct statements? Ranicate and foul cholera. Now, the next question. A poultry bird which is richly, you have to observe R I C H L Y. A poultry bird which is richly supplied by fat diet with less fiber will face the following problem. While we are giving the food material to the poultry birds, 
along with the food materials we have to supply the fibers food in the food material if more and more fibers are present at the time of laying eggs it does not get any trouble but here in order to get benefits the entrepreneur that means a breeder or a businessman is giving the fatty material along with the food materials so at the time of laying eggs now this is the cloacal aperture at the time of laying eggs along with the egg the ov duct and the uterus will come out and they do not enter into the body at the time of laying eggs along with the egg the ov duct and the uterus come out that we call it as the prolapse in telugu it is called meya veyuta that means at the time of laying eggs along with the egg the ov duct and the uterus come out they are unable to enter into the body such type of body is not eaten now here what is the problem along with the poultry feed while we are giving the food material to the poultry birds in the food material more and more fatty material is present instead of the fibers so here a poultry bird which is richly supplied by fat diet with less fibers will face what type of the following problem that is the prolapse now the next question broiler hybrids are produced by crossing we are having two types of the birds one we call it as layer and the second one we call it as broiler what is meant by layer generally it is meant for laying the eggs what about the broiler it is generally meant for the meat purpose in the market we are going to observe hybrid broiler hybrid layer here what is the question hybrid broiler is obtained by crossing the female flymouth rock or female in new hampshire to that of the male cornish now generally while discussing the birds for the female bird we use the word dam it is not an agarjuna dam etc dam while explaining the female birds we have to use dam while explaining the male bird we are we are going to use the word sire now here the question is how we are getting the hybrid broiler by crossing the female plymouth rock or female new hampshire to that of the male cornish here plymouth rock and new hampshire come under the american class they are present in the american countries and cornish it is present in the english countries that is britain countries now here the answer is the fourth one dam that is the female plymouth rock or female new hampshire to that of the male cornish automatically we are getting the hybrid broiler now the next one arrange the following mash you have to observe the question a small mistake mash arrange the following mashes mashes means the food material now as we observe in our houses the mother is going to prepare some type of curries for example while preparing vankai curry in the vankai curry our mother has to use batanis so vankai curry plus batani generally we remove the batanis and take but here what is the mash while preparing such type of curry the mother makes the one kind of batani in the form of a paste that we call it the mash in the same way in the poultry the entrepreneur or the owner supply 
the ingredients to the poultry birds in the form of mash. As we supply the ingredients in the form of the mash, they take all ingredients and grow properly. In order to get a better growth, the owner supply the ingredients in the form of mash. Now, you observe the question, arrange the following mashes in an ascending order based on the energy values. Now, as we observe, the first one is layer mash. Because of the layer mash, we are getting how much percentage of energy? 2500 kilocalories. Now, finish mash, it is giving to the broilers. Because of the finish mash, we are getting 3400 kilocalories of energy. Starter mash, that is also supplied to the broiler boards we are getting 3200 kilocalories of energy and chick mash from the chick mash we are getting 3000 kilocalories of energy and grower mash we are getting 2700 kilocalories of energy now based on the energy values you have to arrange the food materials in an ascending order that means bottom to top now the first one is 2500 kilocalories. Now, this is the layer mesh. Then we go for the 2700 kilocalories. That is 2700 is the kilocalories. That is the grower mesh. And 3000 kilocalories of energy. That is the chick mesh. And the starter mesh, it is given to the broilers. 3200 kilocalories. This is the starter mesh. The last one is finish mesh. From this, we are getting 3400 kilocalories. Now, based on this information, you have to observe the correct answer for this question. That is the fourth option. So, based on the energy values, we have to use the food materials in an ascending order. Now, the next question. Disease of poultry animals caused by protozoan called Imeria tenella. This is the protozoan parasite come under the class Telosporia. Regarding the protozoa, subphylum sporozoa, one class is Telosporia, under class Telosporia, one example is Imeria tenella. It is a protozoan parasite. Generally, this parasite attacks the poultry birds in the early stages. That means, in the first week, the birds are going to get or the birds are going to suffer from this parasite. This parasite causes coccidiasis. What is the symptom of the coccidiasis? Blood motions. Along with the fecal matter, more and more amount of the blood will come out. And the mortality rate is very high. More and more birds are going to die. Now, the disease, just you have to check the word. Disease of poultry animals caused by protozoan called Imeria tenella is such disease is the coccidiasis. The symptom is blood motions. Now, the next one. The controlled use of biological agents or certain cellular components for the beneficial purpose is activity under. Now, we are discussing the biotechnology. What is meant by biotechnology? In Telugu, it is called Jeva Sanketika Sesaram. Biotechnology, the technology associated with the biology. Now, what is meant by biotechnology? We have to use the microorganisms for the welfare of mankind or we have to use the cellular components for the welfare of mankind. Because of the applications of microorganisms, we have to prepare the alcohols, we prepare beverages, we prepare different different organic acids, citric acid, lactic acid, glutamic acid. We have to prepare the beer, the wine, the whisk, the rum, 
the gym and we have to prepare the alcohol and we have to prepare the gaso hall what is meant by gaso hall it is the mixture of petrol and alcohol it is used as a fuel in the brazil country the most popular fuel by using the microorganisms we have to prepare the vitamins we have to prepare antibodies antibiotics monoclonal antibodies different different vaccines and different different hormones all these are prepared by using the microorganisms or cellular components that we call it as the biotechnology now the answer is biotechnology what about the biochemistry the chemistry related to the biology because of the biochemistry we know what is meant by osmosis we know what is meant by diffusion we know what is meant by membrane transport we learned in the first year first unit relation between the zoology and other sciences what about the bioinformatics by using computer knowledge we have to analysis the botany information the zoology information and what about the bioenergetics the bioenergetics explain how the living organisms get energy how they store energy how they utilize the energy now the next question the industrial use of microorganisms in the biotechnology we have to use the microorganisms in the industries what are the microorganisms different different bacteria different different viruses here the students may uh, may get a doubt why don't we use the human beings in the biotechnology the human being is the well developed animal suppose we are conducting experiment on the body of the human being if the experiments are failed what is going to happen the human being is going to die once the human being is going to die who is responsible for the death of human being so the well developed animals are not used so the microorganisms they are small in size they are called the miniatures the microorganisms are easily adaptable to the industrial environmental conditions again repeating the microorganisms are easily adapted to the industrial environmental conditions so we are going to use the microorganisms so here the industrial use of microorganisms is one aspect of now you imagine the answer is biotechnology now the next question now in this question one more is what is meant by biometry in order to explain the biological information we apply the mathematics application of mathematics that we call it as biometry now the next question the technique for cloning genetically engineered molecules in foreign cells now you have to observe the question one is foreign cell and the second one is genetically engineered that means here we have to use recombinant dna technology the technique for cloning genetically engineered molecules that means the molecules prepared by recombinant dna technology they are used in the foreign cells such technique is developed by boyer and cohen generally the students are doing the mistake here because where these two words are present as we refer the biotechnology topic in the second year in the second year biotechnology topic in the first page in the first page left side that means top of the page towards the left side these two scientist names were present boyer and cohen they developed this technique now the answer is the boyer and cohen now the third one is jacob and monard already we discussed in the genetics the gene expression and regulation in the prokaryotes that is operon concept proposed by jacob and monard now the next question 
recombinant DNA technology that manipulates the genes or genetic nature of organisms is commonly referred to as. Now, as we observe the recombinant DNA technology, what is meant by recombinant DNA? Now, this is one kind of organism and this is another kind of organism. You have to follow the concept. This is one kind of organism, this is another kind of organism. Now, from this organism, we have to take one strand of DNA, a part of DNA. From this organism, we have to take one part of DNA. For your kind information, to identify the difference, I used this. Now, this is one fragment of DNA derived from one source. And this is another fragment of DNA derived from another source. This is one source, this is another source. Now, these two are fused. Now, we are getting this result is named as the recombinant DNA. The word recombinant DNA is applicable to the result obtained from the two DNA strands derived from two different sources. Now, recombinant DNA technology that manipulate the genes or genetic nature of organisms is commonly referred to as, now the answer is the genetic engineering.